Hi guys, today I am gonna to talk about what you need to pack in your grab and go bag. So stick around. Thanks for sticking around guys. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to ATOS Outdoors. This is my channel all about my journey into the outdoors and other things that may come with that. So if that sounds like you're something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. Click the button down here um, and turn on notifications to be notified when I post videos. A little bit sporadic right now, sorry about that, um, but I'm gonna try and get back to uh, regular scheduled programming. Okay, with that all out of the way, um, let's talk about what you need to pack in your grab and go bag. So first and foremost, what is a grab and go bag? Um, I did a video on emergency kit and I will link that up here. I think it was a power outage kit. So that's something that you would have in your home for an emergency if you had to stay in your house. A grab and go bag, as the name suggests, is something that you would grab and go with. So this is a bag, um, this isn't a bag necessarily for like camping um, or, or being stuck in the wilderness. This is maybe if you're being evacuated to a community center or some kind of evacuation, maybe an evacuation camp, refugee camp, something like that. Um, so this is great to have on hand for natural disasters. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because of the recent wildfires in Canada. Um, the residents in Lytton, um, the, the town that's unfortunately burnt down, they were given a five minutes notice in some cases just that they needed to get out. So um, having one of these bags packed can make your life after a disaster a bit more easier. Um, you will have some of the essentials that you may need in your grab and go bag to help you get through what would be an incredibly difficult time. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into the actual things that you would need in your bag. And I have mocked up a bag to use in this video. So this is gonna be my grab and go bag for this video. Um, so first and foremost, things you need. Um, it is great to have on hand some water and some food. So we have water. Um, one thing to bear in mind is that these grab and go bags will be for you. So you will have a grab and go bag. Your significant other will have a grab and go bag. So you need to make a grab and go bag um, per person, okay? And then you can personalize them for exactly what you need. So generally, uh, two liters of water per person per day. However, assuming that you are gonna be evacuated to somewhere with water, um, just having a couple of liters of water at least to get you to that point is good. If you can take more, maybe if you can have a supply in your car, then that's great. Um, I mentioned food, so ready to eat food. So you don't wanna be, uh, be bringing a stove and gas and things like that. So uh, I've just chucked in a box of uh, Nature Valley bars, granola bars, just to simulate um, having some food in here, but some uh, non-perishable snacks, granola bars, cliff bars, that sort of thing, just to give you a bit of, an energy, a bit of energy, just in case um, you know, you're stuck somewhere, okay? So, food. Next up, we have Toiletries. Um, my tip for you is whenever you stay at a hotel is take all of the toiletries there, stick them into a bag, have them on hand. I have uh, shampoos, conditioner, soaps, uh, add toothpaste, toothbrush, that sort of thing. Just enough toiletries to get you by, keep you clean so you're not stinking. So toiletries. On top of that, you'll also want to have any personal medications that you have. If you have, um, oh, I don't know, um, if, well, w whatever you may have, whatever medications you need, make sure you have a supply of them um, and check regularly to make sure they are in date. Next up, you will also want some kind of first aid kit. Um, bearing in mind, we have no idea what has caused you to need this grab and go bag and evacuate. However, having a first aid kit on hand is a great idea, okay? So pack a first aid kit. So the most versatile piece of kit that most people will probably have with them is their cell phone. I can't show you my cell phone because I'm filming on it right now, but you will want to have your cell phone with you and you will want to ensure that you have a charger 
okay, you want your charger, and it doesn't hurt to have a battery bank. Now, this is an old battery bank, which is why it's pretty big, it's 20,000 milliamps, um, but this is a good one to have um, because this will charge my phone three, four times, so this is great, assuming it's kept fully charged, so make sure if you are putting a battery bank in here, you charge it. Ah, what else? What else? What else? Now, Worst case scenario, if your phone is not functioning, you may be cut off and you may be only getting limited information. So having a small uh, handheld radio or a small like little radio like this, um, it has a crank on it if it runs out of batteries. Uh, it's FM, AM and the weather band. Uh, it's got a little solar charger, so that might help too. It's also a flashlight. These are 20, 30 bucks, something like that on Amazon. Um, I'll have links for some of the gear that I've shown you uh, down below. Um, but these are great just to, just to keep in touch with the outside world, find out what's going on. But also, you know, it might raise morale having a little bit of music. So uh, a radio is a great idea. Um, now, you don't know necessarily how long you will be away. So packing some seasonal clothing is a good idea. Um, again, this is just simulated, but some spare socks and uh, spare socks and underwear, you know, um, some spare pants, some warm layers, so a fleece, something like that. Small things uh, that, are, that are efficient. So a fleece over a super thick woolly jumper maybe, you know, um, because you may end up carrying this for long periods of time. So a seasonal change of clothes, you're gonna customize that to the area that you're in. Uh, if you're in a wet area, you may want some additional rain gear or something, or you may want additional dry clothes in there. Um, and if you are in a wet area, it doesn't hurt to bag all this in a, uh, into a plastic bag just to keep it extra dry. Um, now, one of the last things that you are gonna want is, um, well, the last two things. So you're gonna want a copy of your emergency plan. So assuming you share your household with other people, you are gonna want to have a copy of your emergency plan. Um, you can find these online. Uh, in fact, I will link down below to the uh, BC Emergency uh, website. It's where I've got a lot of information from this video, so I'll, I'll, I'll link that below. I think it's BC Preparedness, maybe. But you want to come up with an emergency plan with your family, with your, um, maybe with your close friends or, or, or family that live nearby. Um, come up with a plan. It, you want to have maps and things there of the local area, just so you know. If your phone doesn't work and you can't get GPS, you all want to know where you have to meet. Um, another thing that you're going to want in here is copies of important documents. So things like maybe the deed to your house, uh, insurance documents, um, birth certificates, pet ownership, anything like that. Um, maybe your car information, you can put that in here too. Um, you want to make sure you've got all that because you don't know. For example, I have all of my, uh, all of my information stored either on my computer behind me or in the magical cloud, um, and they may not function afterwards. So have, pay, have hard copies of documents you need here. Um, it also doesn't hurt to have copies of them, uh, copies of everything you need on a thumb drive. And just if we are, talking about the insurance route here or thinking about insurance is you would want to have pictures of everything that you own on a thumb drive or maybe stored on the cloud or, or somewhere accessible, maybe even printed out, um, but pictures of what you own. So if you can claim back on insurance after the fact, then you have that. And so it's a bit of peace of mind too. So the final piece of kit that you want, and I should have mentioned this earlier, but it's small and it fell down in my bag. Uh, in fact, the final two pieces of kit. So you're gonna want a flashlight, something to, um, well, light up things. I mean, it's a flashlight, people know what they do. You know, you may need light where you are, you may need light when you're walking to where you have to get if you're evacuating. So having a flashlight is, uh, is a very versatile piece of kit. Um, you may also want to consider a headlamp if you have one knocking around. It just, obviously, it's gonna leave your hands free uh, if you need to corral small children and, and or bring a pet or carry stuff, you know? So a headlamp may be a good idea too. And then finally, the last piece of kit that you are going to want, and it's not so much as a piece of kit as something that you need to stock up on yourself, um, but having cash on hand is a great idea. So having um, small amounts of cash 
is great. I know you can see a shiny hundred here, and this is just an example, but having small amounts of cash on hand, and generally speaking, small denomination as well. So you want loads of fives instead of a, a hundred. People probably aren't gonna have change if you do need to trade or barter or anything. Um, so having small denominations of cash is a great idea. Um, who knows, credit cards may be down, Apple Pay may be down, oh no. Um, but so having cash on hand, and depending on where you live, you may want to have different denominations of cash. So I have some Canadian and I have some American here as well, just in case. So having cash on hand is great if you need to trade for items that you forgot or if, you, you know, if you're at a store that's only taking cash. So uh, that's everything that I'm suggesting. Uh, a quick recap, just so we're all on the same page here. Um, so food and drink, you're gonna want enough food and drink to sustain you. Normally you look in these packs, these grab and go bags, generally speaking, 72 hour, um, three days, you know, that's gonna keep you going. Water wise, um, having at least a couple of liters on water, hopefully will get you through until you can get some more water. And again, having food on hand, again, hopefully if you are evacuated to a, like a, um, a community hall or an evacuation point, hopefully they will have supplies on hand, okay? Um, I mentioned your toiletries, you're gonna to want those just to keep yourself clean, to have, uh, have a little semblance of the routine that you would have normally can help, uh, can help calm people down. Um, having that routine, as I said, keeps people, uh, sort of anchors them in something they know. So uh, having toiletries and being able to keep yourself clean is great. Um, you're also going to you're also going to want any medication that you may need. Um, so again, remember you want to personalise your grab and go bag to yourself. Have any medication you need in it. If you have kids, they want their own grab and go bag um, with any medication, etc., that they would need. Okay. And also you will want a first aid kit. So uh, a basic first aid kit, keep one in your grab and go bag uh, to to deal with any issues that may arise. And I will do a first aid video uh, at some point in the near future, so stay tuned. You're gonna want a phone charger and maybe a power bank as well uh, to keep you connected to the world if things like that are functioning. Uh, but just some of the creature comforts that we have on phones and things, movies, uh, series, things like that, just to keep people's spirits up. Um, so for a bit of morale. Um, also phones are incredibly versatile. We have access to the internet. We have, uh, we can film videos to our loved ones like this. Uh, we can also uh, use it as a flashlight, online radio, things like that, assuming it's all functioning. So keep your phone charged and have your phone charger and your battery bank along with you. Seasonal clothing, um, so something that you can, if your clothes are damaged or wet or whatever, some seasonal clothing, a change of clothes. You, this could be an extended thing. There's a, there's a woman in the article that's uh, mentioned in CBC. She was stuck in Vegas, not the worst place to be stuck, but she was stuck in Vegas and then traveling back to BC, trying to get home. So having a change of clothes instead of your Vegas party outfit is a great idea. So pack some seasonal clothes um, because you never know what the weather's gonna be like and keep it updated. Change this throughout the seasons, you know, pack nice for, pack your summer gear for the summer and then as it moves into fall, all packs and warmer gear in winter again warmer gear you see where I'm going with this so figure it out okay you're gonna want copies of your emergency plan as well as copies of any documents that you need so make sure that you print them off also have some copies in the magical cloud maybe on a thumb drive too redundancy is great in this situation um, a small radio and flashlight, radio to keep in contact uh, or at least to be uh, to get information in if cell phones or 3G, 5G, 8G, whatever is down and a flashlight so you can see in the dark. And lastly, you are going to want your cash money if you do need to trade, if you need to barter, if you even just need to buy stuff and um, internet's down, banks aren't working, if places are only taking cash. So have some cash, small denominations, maybe a couple of different currencies if, if that's something that would be accepted in your area. So that is everything that I am suggesting that you pack in a grab and go bag. That is what you need to pack in your grab and go bag. Uh, if you have any ideas, if I've missed anything, if you have any suggestions, please comment down below. Let me know if I've missed anything. Um, also, 
If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. And if you can, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Click the button down here to subscribe. Turn on notifications to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for making it this far, everyone. If you have made it this far, thank you again. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching my channel. And I will see you soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.